when we're scanning the internal carotid artery, there's a lot of the artery that we can't see. You know, we like to scan proximal mid distal, but sometimes you see just a short segment of it. So here in red is the internal carotid artery. And on ultrasound, we see maybe about that much, if we're lucky that much, but you know, the mandible comes into play. It's gonna block up most of that. And that's known as the cervical portion of the ICA. And then we have the other portions, petrous, cavernous, and intracerebral that we just can't see with ultrasound, unless you're doing like a TCD and you still only see a portion of the distal ICA on a TCD. We're usually scanning with this probe. But if you do have a micro convex probe, one of these little C310s, you can use this and it has a wider view and you could be able, and pretty good penetration with high resolution, and you could be able to get more of the internal carotid artery. So here's with the linear, you get this short segment of ICA, the bulbs over here. And then with some depth, that's the external carotid artery. With some depth, you can see there's some more there. Now you can lower the megahertz or frequency, lower the scale of the color, increase the gain. You may get that to fill in, but sometimes it's very difficult, especially people with bigger necks. Now with the microconvex, you got bulb over here and look at all that ICA you can see. Some of it's gonna get blocked out. Once you reach the parotid gland, there's nothing you can do about that. But you're getting a larger, longer segment of the ICA. So, I mean, the proof is in the pudding. So use that microconvex if you have it on your machine, if you have it available, and you really want to see more of the internal carotid artery. Hope this helps. Bye.